Yep. That's another Little giant. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, boom. That's a tool. Holy oh, God. cow. Look at the size of that. That's why you come to Camelot Bell. We are here at Camelot Bell here in uh, Central Texas. Been, been challenged by Nathan. He invited us to come down here and fish this place. I think he'd heard through the grapevine that I'd never caught a 10 pound bass. And he said, if you're ever gonna have a chance to catch a 10 pounder, this is the place. So it's trophy everything apparently where we're at here. I'm holding trophy deer antlers. These are just laying around like they're just, just the small sheds. And uh, apparently it's the same thing here with bass. Needless to say, I'm really excited to get out there. It sounds like the fishing is phenomenal. We're gonna catch a bunch of bass is what he's saying. The wind is blowing, we got rain on the way. But if the bass or anything like the deer are at this place, I can't wait to get out there on the water. Hey, Nathan. How's it going? Nice to finally meet you. Absolutely. Are we, are we deer hunting today or are we fishing? <laughs> I think it's either one. Wow, this is uh, this is amazing. I got, I got to admit, I pulled up here, I got a little distracted. I, I find some just sheds laying over here in the grass. Uh, but uh, I understand this is uh, a trophy deer factory here, but uh, you didn't invite me down here for the deer. You invited me for uh, trophy bass fishing here at uh, Camelot Bell. Yes, sir. I told you that I've never caught a 10 pounder and you're saying the possibilities here are it could happen, huh? It could be any cat. You know, I've done this for 45 years now and I have yet to catch a 10 pounder. So you think that I can catch one here? Uh, I think so. Well, I can't wait to get out there and give this place a try. It's a little breezy today. We got some showers getting ready to come through, but uh, you know what? Let's get out there and give it a try. Absolutely. Let's go. I'm Nathan Stroop from Willis, Texas. And I've challenged Brent to fish on Camelot Bell. Camelot Bell is a, uh, a special place. I don't think there's anywhere, I know in the state of Texas that has more fish per acre over 10 pounds. It's a phenomenal place, phenomenal fishery. My personal best right now is 13.6. I actually caught it out of Camelot Bell. I was talking to Brent and he said he's never caught a 10 pounder. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to put him on that today and uh, get it done. We made it to our first spot. <laughs> it's a little breezy here today, which uh, you know usually wind's a good thing. So we'll say that, but uh, I know you've probably seen the show, but the rules are simple. First fish, most fish, and biggest fish, and they have to be at least 12 inches long. <laughs> I and, think we can. And, and of what you're telling me is uh, they might have to be 12 pounds, right? So, <laughs> so I am really excited. I can't wait to make the first cast, but uh, I'm going to be a good host. I'm going to give you the first cast, and let's, uh, let's get fishing here. All right. It looks a little fishy. That's a flatbed. <laughs> it looks like it should be a fish bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> right there. Miss one? Yep, right at the boat. Oh, fish. There you go. I knew it was going to happen. Not right a here. giant, but. Oh. Look at that fish. According to Camelot Bell standards, this is not a giant, but it's the first one. That is the first one, sir. I think I'm gonna like this place. Look at that belly on that fish. That's what you call a healthy bass right there. <laughs> All right. This is actually where uh, I think the current lake record was caught. Oh, right really? Here. It's one close to 16. Well, what's the Texas state record? I believe it's 18, came out of uh, Lake Fort. Yeah. Oh, oh that go. felt like a better one. Oh, oh, oh. Pretty good one. Get the net. You need Probably the net. wouldn't hurt. Yeah, just uh, like I said, that way we'll keep them off the deck anyway. Holy cow, that fish slammed it. Boom! Camelot Bell. I like it. That's a beauty. 
And you said that's just a good starter, right? That's just a good starter. And you'll notice his fish. Look at the slime coming off of him. Yeah, and you'll notice his fish too. The actual belly and the girth on yeah. these fish goes all the way past their back fin. Beautiful. That's how they get so big. It's definitely a high four. I definitely like this one. Whoo. Pro versus Joe, brought to you by Fulton, Waves of Innovation, Maxis Tires, your way to adventure. This right here is the giant island. I call this giant island. Giant island, that bit. Oh. 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 No, it's not a big one. It's only about, about the same size mm -hmm. as yours. Hey, that's all right. Nope. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you can tell I don't net anymore. Not a giant, but yeah, that's a. Feels good to finally get into one. Whoo! You never know. That way, that 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 one was screaming towards us. These are just amazing fish, aren't they? Absolutely. We've had multiple eights on this show, so but that's the biggest. So now the pressure's on you and me. Yep. Uh oh, oh. There's, there's a there's a go. Yep. Net on that yep. one. See your bird. gonna come up. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> good job. That's what you come to Camelot Bell for. Gosh, those are nice fish. You hit the poles? Yeah, yeah, I did the spot lock, but yeah, let me put the. Now you'll notice too on his fish. Yeah. They have turquoise. Yeah, they do. They're really their backs. It's just the genetics of it or whatever. Yeah. Oh, ooh, you see that boil? Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, you got my tail. Somewhere. Got my tail. <laughs> it's your shot. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> uh, you dummy! I knocked the tail off. You knocked your tail, or the fish knocked your tail off, and oh, I didn't need a tail. Oh, uh -oh. oh, oh, yeah, it is. No, no, still net. No, we're okay. good. Whoo! This might take the. I think I like this place award here. Boom! These things are tanks. They are. <laughs> Look at that fish. We should be doubled up right here. There's one. There's one. Nice one. <laughs> Look at these fish, they're beautiful. Oh! Good? Yep. Ah, little guy. He wanted some breakfast. Eating the egg. Wow, there ought to be some here. Oh. Well, is that a custom color? Yeah, that's my fancy custom homemade paint job. <laughs> Beauty. They're rather chunky. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a giant. Yo. Grab that net, holy cow. Oh my gosh. There you go. Come on. Over here, over here. Okay. Oh. There you go. Come on. Oh, baby. <laughs> Woo. There you go. Camelot special. That might be my first 10 pounder. Woo! Get on spot lock. Oh, come on, Bo. Here, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> that might be my first official 10 pounder. Looks like she may have been on a bed too. Uh, sure, hold that hold if it. you would. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Nine. Eight ninety nine, nine pounder. Nine. I know. It's that time of year. 
You know, it's a nine pounder. I thought it was a 10 and they're hard to tell when they get that size, but what a beauty. What the heck? That's Gosh, all right. I you can get the babies out of the way and I'll catch the, I'll catch the 10. I cannot believe that's not a 10 pounder. Pro versus Joe brought to you by Sportsman's Shake. Power your obsession. Garmin Panoptics, all seeing sonar. Join the pros who switch to Garmin. Oh, there is, holy cow. <laughs> Net? Uh, maybe so. Oh, uh oh. I'm getting tired of netting your fish. <laughs> hey, Nathan, you can challenge me any time to Camelot Bell here. I appreciate you leaving those for me. No problem. <laughs> I told you there was one there. You ever fish a jig here much? Uh, no, I, I fished a, you know, the slither rig or yeah. punch skirt a lot, but never a jig. I just, uh-oh, uh -oh. That's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> That one uh, stopped for a minute. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Beautiful fish. Gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Tank. Right out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that uh, that might have been good to have a net on that one. Look at that belly. Wow. Tanks, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah, I think these are uh, what you would call pre-spawn fish here. Yep. It's weird how some of the places we've had bites, and I'm sure it's just timing. Yeah, look at the bait down here. Yeah. This is one of the spots in the lake that makes me nervous. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep. That's another Never giant. Didn't. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, boom! That's a 10. That's gonna be close to it. That's a 10. Gotta be close. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that spinner bite's the deal. Oh my goodness. That's why you come to Camelot Bell. Two giants in a matter of a couple hours plus with all those measly, uh, what, four and five pounders to go with it. So let's put this one in the live well just for a minute. We'll get away of it and, holy cow. <laughs> Woo! 10, 10.14 pounds, my first official 10 pounder. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's many a places I go where 10 pounds for five is a good day. I think the record's like 56 here. 56 for five, yep, that's, uh, I believe it. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Not a big one. Do we need the net on it or is it, nah. I didn't see it. It's about a five maybe. Oh, just a five, four or five. No, nah, I didn't get it, it's not even that big. Not even that? It Still doesn't hurt to look at that though. Just an just an average four pounder four and a half. Gosh, this place is unbelievable. See now you're throwing something they've never seen before. That uh, it's usually a fall deal at home. Oh right there. <laughs> Second cast. Sometimes you forget about the old standard spinner baits. Yeah, look at the turquoise on that one. See hey, speaking of a trailer hook, there's why you throw a trailer hook. Beauty. That's a kicker fish in a lot of places, but that's those have got to be pre-spawn fish. You can see those bellies. Oh! 
There it is. That's the one I missed earlier. <laughs> Catch up. Man, that fish slammed it. No, I don't know. No. Okay. Practice here. Beautiful. Boom. Wow. So here's something that's kind of unique about this place. A fish like this in this fishery, they would have us put them in the live well and we take them over and they put them in a cage and they sell these to uh, to people with, with their own lakes. So uh, what a perfect way. He lets us come out here and fish and we fill the live wells and uh, he takes them and sells them and they grow bigger fish. Keep talking. <laughs> Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by PowerPole, Swift, Silent, Secure, Fraybill, Trusted Gear since 1938, Plano, Protect Your Passion. Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Pitbull Cutters, the best braided line cutters, period. Good one? I can't tell. It's shaking its head like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a... Uh, look nice at how one. fat oh, that wow. fish is. Right in the net. <laughs> do, I, do I get to count half that one? <laughs> Good net job. There Good you net go. Job. Look at how healthy that fish is. Beautiful. Oh. Got a good one? Easy. Sounds like it. Now he's decent. He ain't big. Nice one. We need to, I guess, to save uh, spinner baits getting destroyed. And Absolutely. That's about where we had that bite earlier, too. Yep. That would not be a fun lifestyle as being a shad in this pond. <laughs> There's a bite. Oh. Was not expecting that. Of course, neither was he. Caught one pippin. Fish. Is that a good one? Nice one. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bad net job. Oh, he still went in there. Gosh, look at that. Look at that football. Better one? Stay down. I'm not netting that one for you. Get up here. <laughs> In the boat. Trailer hook, though. Trailer hook. Look what he's doing now. See that? Yep. Because, oh, you get smacked. I got one. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Come off. <laughs> Come off. No way. <laughs> he's not going anywhere. These are good practice. Practice landing without a net fish. You might be digging a hook out of my hand. I can do it. <sighs> yeah, it's funny back on Conroe, uh, anybody gets a hook in their hand and they know I'm out in the water, I'm always one taking. They hunt, hunt you down. Oh huh? yeah. Fish? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy oh, cow. Oh, that's a that's a teener. That's a teener. Oh, watch out. Come on, don't come off, don't come off. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, may not be, but it's definitely over 10. Open. Holy cow. You were saying they were there. Thank you. Look how fat that fish is. Holy cow. Look at that. Right out. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Look at the size of that. Dang! <laughs> Camelot Bell, this place is. <laughs> Let's stick her in the live well just for a second. We'll dig the scale out. And... Okay. I'm gonna say nine. No, it's heavier than that. No, you're... 970. 974. Gosh. <laughs> that was a five pounder yeah. at least. Oh, he got it. Oh, the little oh. guy got it. But that's an important little guy. 
Whoa, I wonder if that was a male and a female. Well, Nathan, I said the next fish was gonna be the tiebreaker. It's not the biggest of the day, but I'll tell you what, an absolute blast. I owe you the biggest thing. Guys, Camelot Bell, I've done this now for 45 years. You guys got to witness me catching my first official 10 pound bass. If I can catch a 10 pounder here, anybody can. What an amazing fishery. Nathan, thank you, this was a blast. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. What an amazing big bass factory it is down here. And that's what they do. They grow giant big bass down here at Camelot Bell. He did catch the first fish, but it was, it was by seconds because I actually missed one right at the boat right before he caught his. He had big fish. Mine was almost big fish. 45 years in the making, and I finally catch my double digit fish. I caught a 10 pounder, and you guys got to witness it. I did catch the biggest, but there are, there are no losers in this one. Nathan caught a giant as well, and I mean, we just back and forth all day long as far as numbers of fish goes. You, you just never know here in Camelot Bell because any cast could be the fish of a lifetime. Definitely a fun field day. I think I gave him a run for his money. I think we did really well there. An absolute awesome day. Check them out online and come down here and catch some of these monster bass. This is an amazing challenge. It, it was a great day and uh, just, I would suggest to anybody to do this. It's, uh, it's a, a phenomenal uh, opportunity.